we're next on to move into some news. Festival news is always something that's pretty rife here. I've started doing all sorts. There's all sorts. All sorts they go over this week. I've received insider knowledge. Harringay Council have, have cancelled all of their events during the summer. Harringay Council look after Finsbury Park, which is where wireless is held. That would suggest that the 1975 gig that's put on by Festival Republic is also cancelled. Yeah, Saturday 11th of July. I don't think that's getting ahead, guys. Sorry. It'll be rescheduled, I feel sure. But yeah, that one I don't think is going to be going ahead at this stage. Let's talk festivals for a second. So included in some of the festivals that have been cancelled, Why Not Festival has taken its leave. They've put out a statement saying, following the continued developments of COVID-19 pandemic, we've taken the difficult decision to cancel this year. With everything that's going on in the world right now, we know it's the right thing to do. Uh, everyone keeps safe. I, like, I don't disrespect this part but it's the same in every single statement so I don't need to read every time nothing there about whether the lineup is going to be the same um, but they have confirmed there that you can roll your ticket over if you're going to why not who was due to headline why not Royal Blood Richard Ashcroft Craig David Bombay Bicycle Club and Rag and Bone Man it's an alright lineup some good other names in there though I like them Sundara Karma Amazons I think it would be fun to do some music club FM festival specials let me know if that would work for you tell me if you think that's something that would be worth worth your while uh, another festival that have put out a statement and cancelling this one is run by festival republic that's latitude festival that is a much smaller brother or smaller sister to reading and leeds latitude will no longer be taking place this year we've been closely mon monitoring the unprecedented situation that's become clear that is just not possible for this year's festival to go ahead uh, our hearts go out to the fans artists supplies performers volunteers we're closely working with our ticketing partners and they will be in touch very soon to process your refund or if you prefer to retain your ticket to carry across the next year. So, what it doesn't say here is anything about the lineup, but what it does say is that either people that will be that have bought tickets will be getting refunds or that they will be able to transfer to next year. Just the same as other festivals. The big thing about this one is that it's a Festival Republic festival. So, a lot of big festivals in the UK are run by Festival Republic, Reading and Leeds being the main one. But here, we're very clearly we're very clearly saying that we can roll over to next year. We're going to put our all into planning the best latitude you've ever been to and can't wait to see you in July 2021. For now, keep safe, stay healthy and look after each other. So nothing there to confirm whether or not the lineup will carry over. I think this is a theme that we'll see across all of their festivals. What I would like to see from Reading and Leeds when it gets cancelled, if it gets cancelled, is will the lineup be the same next year? With us, Are there some names that they can confirm now that will go across? Just something, just something to latch onto would be great. And that's completely personal, it's something that I would really, really, really like. But I completely appreciate that's just me being needy. On a positive note though, let's move to Glastonbury, who put out a tweet this week saying, we're pleased to announce we're going ahead with this year's Emerging Talent Competition. This is a, a competition they put out every year with a chance to win to perform at Glastonbury. The winners will be given a slot at Glastonbury 2021, plus a £5,000 talent development prize from PRS Foundation. Um, we've got a long list of acts to go through. I'm going to go through that next week and see if there's something in there that I like. And perhaps we can share some of that next week. That could be fun. So it's not all doom and gloom. We've got some really cool virtual festivals coming up this month. We've got some really cool, um, there's some good stuff that's been postponed. Some great albums coming out. Festivals are looking a bit pants. It's looking a bit pumps. I'll, I'll, I'll go with you on that one. Shout outs to Rene who, who commented, here in the Netherlands, all festivals that are planned before the 1st of September are canceled. So what they're, the Netherlands are taking an approach that up until this date, they're canceled, done. Who knows, like, we're so, we just don't know what's going on at the moment in this country when it comes to festivals. The government aren't saying absolutely not. They're just letting people cancel them themselves, which seems like a bizarre thing to do. You would think they would just go, look, by X date, it ain't happening. So either reschedule or, or you know, cancel, fine, whatever. But they're not doing that. And it's just a bit of a bizarre one. And I don't really understand that. Perhaps we'll, and there's talk this week of easing up what lockdown. Who knows? Who knows? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. 